Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hammond versus Hammond. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mrs. Hammond, you claim that after 10 years of marriage and repeated attempts to get pregnant, a month ago, you finally gave birth to your miracle baby, Isaac. You need today's result to prove to the defendant, your husband, that this is his baby. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hammond, you claim your wife is a habitual liar and cheater. You say you know you are not the father and you have proof that she was with another man during the time of conception. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mrs. Hammond, explain the current status of your marriage. Currently, we're separated. We're on, on and off. Um, you know, after 11 years of being together, all we wanted was to have a baby and we finally got that and it's sadly brought us further apart than bring us together. All because of paternity doubt? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Hammond, you stand here with doubt today? Yes, ma'am. Um, she's, um, she's had multiple partners and, um, she, she lies to my face constantly. So, so, um, how am I supposed to believe someone who, who's telling me it's night and it's daytime? You know what I mean? So you say she lies to you all, all the time? All the time, all the time. She, she, she had me in a snowsuit in the middle of summer. <laughs> so I, I want to understand this. I mean, you've been together 11 years, so the marriage has come to this? I can only be the fool so many times to, to where I'm putting my dukes up because it's, I'm tired of being that fool, you know? So how do you know she cheated? I've had uh, numerous people that um, have told me they've been with my wife, you know what I mean? <laughs> they tell you what happened? I've, I've seen a video of my wife giving oral <laughs> to, to another man. That is such a lie. There is no video, Your Honor. There is no video. But was there a man and was there oral sex? In, in all honesty, um, there has been cheating on both sides. My husband cheated on me first. I took it the wrong way. About a year after that happened, I did end up... I, I've cheated on him. I have been with other people. It was known on both sides. It wasn't something that I hid. And it's sad. But... Listen, I understand. This was a messy marriage. There was cheating on both sides. I understand all of that. But if you're working and working for all these years to have this baby, why is there so much at stake and so much on the line? Why is there such paternity doubt? Because, um, I, I had... We had went... To, we had left California and went back to Texas to be with his family. Um, we went out there. Um, I had to go back to California to handle some things. More than once. And um, when I had got back, I had found out that his family had encouraged him being with somebody else. He was with somebody else while I was gone. Um, at that I point... with somebody else. At that point, we truly had been trying to work on our marriage, and it was, it was devastating to me. So what did you do? Um, to be honest, um, I, I did end up leaving Texas. I went back to California. So soon after she left... To go to California, she tells you you're pregnant, right? Correct. Take me back to that day. She, um, she tells me she's pregnant, and, um, at first I was, uh, ecstatic, you know? But then, um, she, she's, um, texting, uh, this man that she, uh, loves, right? And, um, oh. saying a whole bunch of things that would, uh, lead me to believe that she's, uh, more than friends. All right, you have some evidence you'd like to show me, yes, Mr. Hammond. Yes, ma'am. Jerome, will you please sure. Thank give you, me sir. that evidence? Thank you. <clears throat> this evidence is what exactly? It's um conversations with my wife and another man that that, that should not be spoken. And um Oh, oh. She's in the same place as th this man is. You know what I mean? And um And you posted these to your social media. Correct. You said, how does your wife of 11 years text people she's cheated on her husband with messages like this after he loved her enough to stay with her and forgive her? Right. And the messages read as follows. The other man writes, so good to finally see you. You look hella good, babe. Made my day for show. Ooh. With four kisses. He writes, I miss you already. And then you write, Mrs. Hammond, just made it back to sack. So and I miss you already, too. 
And then the other man says, thank you for texting me. Can't wait to see you again. Kiss, heart, kiss. Right. This doesn't sound too good, Ms. Hammond. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't. I mean, I know what I have and what I haven't done. You saw this man. Um, yes, I did. I met him at our local county park, um, said hello to him. It was a friend that we had both worked with, and it was nothing more than that. It was somebody that was probably trying to get at me, but nothing I was going to involve myself with. Now, hold on, Ms. Hammond. Listen, don't waste my time. This is not an exchange between a coworker and you just met at the park for a minute. It ain't that many kissy faces in the world right. that you got to type after you meet a coworker at the park. Mm -hmm. This is more than that. Now, whether you slept with this person, I don't know. But you wouldn't be in paternity court had you not slept with somebody. Yes, Your Honor. That's just the truth. So, Mr. Hammond, you believe that this person could be Isaac's biological Correct. father? Yes, ma'am, and uh, numerous others. I mean, there's... She, she's moved so single, I, I don't understand how she claims to be a married woman. So, can you take me to the point when Isaac is born? Were you at the birth? Did I was. Did you participate? I signed the birth certificate, and, and um, I'm the last to... to the, the last Hammond. So, if I don't have a son, then my family's name is done. So, um... I, so maybe I, I rushed to uh, to want to be the father. You know I what I mean? I had let him know my water broke. Um, he showed up to where I was living. He, um, I said, okay, are you gonna bring me to the hospital? He said, no, drive yourself. He left. He left me at my house. He left and went to the casino with another woman. Mind you, after my water broke, I had to drive myself to the hospital. He didn't show back up to the hospital until 20 minutes before I gave birth, and he he was there. He cut the umbilical cord. He. Um, stayed for about maybe 45 minutes, and he left again. I didn't see him until the next day. Oh. Mr. Hammond, you were at the casino with another woman while your wife was giving birth? I was at the casino gambling. I wasn't with another woman. <laughs> like... But why were you at the casino gambling if your wife's giving birth That's a good to question. the baby you prayed for? Right. I, I, can't, I can't have an answer for that one, because I don't know. What kind of craziness is this? Right? Now, that's one we've never heard, Jerome. I haven't heard that one. My water broke. Great, I'll be at the casino. Right. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> you know, it's sad because I wanted nothing... We wanted nothing but to have a child. And For years. I would have thought that our son would have brought us closer together and would have fixed what we had lost in the last couple of years by the horrible things that have been done between the both of us. And it just is devastating that our, our son, you know, might have made myself happier, and I don't know what it did for him, but it definitely tore us apart even more, you know? This is sad. You know, I mean, if there's this much cheating back and forth, I mean, there's no way a relationship or a marriage can withstand this. Can you tell this court, how many times have you cheated in this relationship? Four. Four. Mrs. Hammond, how many times have you cheated? I've been with three other people. She's... I, I know at least six that, that, that she's been with. So, so there's no reason to fake he the believe, He believes that's so many I believe people. you've been with more than six. I believe you've been with 13. But then again, he... 16. <laughs> Why are you saying these numbers? Because um, she would tell me anything. I mean, I've, I've been the, the brunt of the joke many times, you know what I mean? So it's, it's hard to, to, for her to say, this is your child. I mean, the, the baby could have came back Ethiopian and, and she's gonna tell no. me how beautiful my baby is and I'm just... That's not true. It, it's ridiculous, you know what I mean? So you saying she just tell you anything? Yeah, she... she I, I've numerously been paddled by the the teacher because of believing my wife. And she, and for her to act like she admits things to me, I have to literally have footage of her doing these things for her to acknowledge they exist. I just acknowledge I cheated. I mean, I've been very honest with him. He just wants to believe there's more. He wants to constantly... Maybe he wants to keep the problems. I don't know. No, ma'am. Well, you've brought a witness to court. Yes, Your Honor. And I'd like to hear from him. Please stand, sir. <laughs> Step over to the podium. State your name for the record. 
My name is Jonathan Hale. And what is your relationship to Miss Hammond? I am her twin brother. You are? Yeah. All right, so Mr. Hale, what do you know about this paternity situation? Well, I remember their relationship from its inception to now. I've been more or less a part of it, you know, just being her brother through this whole entire uh, adventure, as you might say. Adventure it is. Yeah, <laughs> to say the least, to say the least. And, but we don't know where we going. Right, right. As far as paternity goes, they wanted it, uh, Isaac, because they thought it'd bring them closer together. And I think that's what everyone was kind of hoping for, especially uh, William over here. And as soon as Isaac was born, as much as William wanted to be a father, I think, he was still uncertain about paternity, so he was kind of hesitant to get too involved with Isaac, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, I've had to step in a lot and kind of pick up the slack and just try to look out for my nephew as much as possible and to help out as far as you know, feeding him or changing diapers and whatever it takes. So you've had to step up and basically be the dad instead of being the uncle. Yeah. Just try to participate in any way that I can to make sure Isaac gets what he needs. So you've heard your sister's testimony. Yes, ma'am. She admitted she cheated three times. They've admitted the relationship has been messy. Do you believe there is any chance that maybe Mr. Hammond is not Isaac's biological father? It would be foolish to think that there is no chance that it couldn't be his. I mean, oh. there's always a chance if someone cheated that it could be someone else's. And just on a logical outlook. Has your sister said anything to you related to the paternity question? She has not, Your Honor. She has, uh, if she does know something, she has kept it solely to herself. Miss Hammond, did you ever tell any of the other guys... No, no, Your Honor. ...about your pregnancy? No, Your Honor. There was nobody else to tell. That's my husband and that's his child. I don't believe that, Kimberly. Facts. You, you were in California multiple times. Yeah, I understand that. See, this is the problem when you let relationships get this messy, because you might be telling the truth, yeah. but Lord only knows yeah. what happened. It's just been such a mess. Or as Mr. Hale said, such an adventure. Right. <laughs> but it's obvious right now we lost. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Hale, for your testimony. You may be seated. So what are we hoping for today? I want him to know the truth. I want him to be a part of his son's life. I want him to be the father he promised me that he would be. <clears throat> I want him to be a husband again. I, I would like to have my marriage back. I want to fix it. I want to be a family because that's what we've wanted for so long. You want this marriage and you want this family. Yes, Your Honor. Very badly. How about you, Mr. Hammond? I, I would become a different father if I knew this, this was my child. I mean, I'm not going to raise the next man's baby. You know what I mean? And so you're hoping that Isaac is I would your be a, biological I would, child. I pray. You pray he is. Yes, ma'am. So you want this baby to yes, be yours? Yes, ma'am. More than anything in this world. We finally agree on something. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so would you like to try to work I, on I the would, marriage? I, I would never... I meant my vows, better and worse, um, sickness and health, so I would never want a divorce from her. But, but if, if, if we're not functional together, then we should be apart. All right. Well, I think I've heard sufficient testimony, and I'm ready for the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hammond versus Hammond, if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to one month old Isaac Hammond, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Hammond, you are the father. Yeah. 
God answers prayers. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Gotta step it up. I get that. It's, it's time to be a man. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Full word. speed. I'll give you my word. I know you've been on the slow speed because you didn't know if it was your child. You've been crawling. Now we can stand and we can walk Step in this truth. Up. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because this baby needs to know what, what being a man is all about. He's going to learn it from his daddy. That's yes, right. Yes, Your Honor. And if his daddy is sometimey, guess what he's going to be? Same thing. Sometimey. That's right. And the last thing we need in this world, I'm speaking for all the women, is another sometimey man. <laughs> Let the church say amen. 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 Honey. <laughs> let's press reset and let's begin to do the right thing for this beautiful, innocent baby so he can grow up healthy and happy. All right? Your Honor. We have counseling and resources for you both. I hope you take advantage of it. Thank you. Best Thank of you. luck to you. Thank you very much. Court is adjourned.